I'd like to walk you through the basic connections for hooking up your Slice Nano or Slice Micro data acquisition systems. Slice Nano and Slice Micro are, are the world's smallest full-featured high-performance data collection systems you'll find anywhere and making basic connections is very easy using the base cable kit. The Slice base cable kit contains an input power cable, an end of chain cable, 12 volt power supply with AC power cable, USB cable, start event cable, and a screw kit to assemble different sizes of slice stacks. Let's start with the end of chain cable. The end of chain cable has some convenient terminals that allow us to connect power and control signals to the down connector on either a slice nano or a slice micro stack. For example, to make power connections, we simply insert the leads plus and minus into the V plus and ground connections, and then using our screwdriver, we tighten the terminals to hold the wires firmly in place. In a similar manner, we can make connections for the start and event signals to allow us to either start recording or put an event mark into the data recording. The end of chain cable also has connections labeled on and STS or status. When you connect on to ground, it turns on the system. You can also use these signals to connect a remote power control switch. Status is there to give you an indication when the system is ready and recording and everything is okay. Now that we have the end of chain cable connected to power and the start and event signals. Let's plug in the end of chain cable to the down port on the base. Let's connect the USB cable to the up connection on the base. Time to connect a high quality power source to the slice system. We can either use a battery pack like one of the many we sell on the website or a 12 volt power supply that comes with the base cable kit. To connect the power we simply plug the two pin connectors together and we're done. Using the Slice base cable kit, it's very easy to do everything you need to do to get the system up and running. We have power, we have a convenient way to input a start and event signal, and we have a standard USB connection to a PC. Once you've got these connections made, it's as easy as starting up the software and setting up the system. Now you can see how easy it is to make basic connections for your Slice Nano and Slice Micro system. If you have additional questions or require assistance, contact our support team.